All right, team, keep it clean. We had to switch the videos temporarily back to 4K right now so y'all can hear and see me crystal clear when we talk about this one. So, yesterday, just to get everybody caught up for where we at, yesterday it was announced that Bradley Bozeman has signed a one-year deal with the Carolina Panthers. And initially, that, that caught me off guard because I'm like, what? a, a, a one-year deal? Really? I, I thought that Bradley Bozeman, that he was going to be one of the most sought-after free agents on the market. He was going to get paid like one of the top centers on the market. I, I, I just knew it. I just knew it. Even though, yeah, he had only been playing center for one year, yeah. And even though he had played guard the other three years in his career, like, okay, yeah, but still. He's hitting the market at the right time. He's going to get paid like a top center. And when they came out with that one-year deal, I was like, whoa, okay. But then I thought about it. I was like, all right, well, okay. So I guess the Panthers were like, you know what? He only plays center at the NFL level for one year. And we don't want to fully commit to him. Let's really see what he can do with our squad, with our team, on our roster, in our scheme. Let's see how he can do with us. Because the other three years he played guard, he did all right there. And center, he did all right too. But let, let's see what he can do for us. So it's like a prove it deal. Even though I'm like, man, this dude's young. Like young dudes who have been healthy, they don't get prove it deals. They get prove in deals. Like people will pay a top premium dollar for that. So... When that one-year deal came out, I was like, whoa, I was just shocked. So then it was like, all right, let's, let's wait for the details. Let's wait for the details on the deal. And then the details came out today, and it was like, whoa, it made it even weirder. So that led me to believe, in my personal opinion, once we saw these details, Bradley Bozeman wanted out. He wanted to leave. Now, what reasons he wanted to leave, I don't know. But you got to feel like he wanted to be gone. From the Ravens because Jeff Zrebeck has said multiple times that the Ravens offered Bradley Bozeman a deal and I know we, we talk about a lot of times on here how the Ravens are cheap not with their own guys though usually with outside guys with guys that they're trying to bring in and sign as free agents from other teams they can usually be cheap with those guys uh, we have plenty of examples uh, more recent Zadarius Smith and he was an outside guy they tried to be cheap with him and it almost worked came so close but Zadarius was like hold up now man I know but anyway <laughs> um they are not usually cheap with their own they usually take care of their own guys and with them offering Bradley Bozeman a deal you got to feel like it was much more than this significantly more than this and let's just go over the details of this contract so it said Bradley Bozeman's one-year deal is worth 2.8 mil. 2.8 mil. That's crazy. And this is after the first week, uh, not even first full week, but the first week of free agency, he signed a $2.8 million, a one-year $2.8 million deal. And then, so let's look at the details. It's a $1 million signing bonus, $1.035 million base salary, and up to... 500,000 per game active roster bonus and $265,000 in the workout bonus. So he has a one year, $2.8 million deal. And again, I was just sure. I just knew. I just knew he was going to get paid like a top center. Even if he wasn't the top paid center, he was going to get, he was going to be one of the highest paid centers in the league. I, I said that multiple times because I was, I was so confident in that. But the market, it said otherwise. Other teams, they said otherwise. And when the Ravens offered Bradley Bozeman a deal, <laughs> he chose otherwise. So this really convinces me he didn't want to be with the Ravens anymore. He didn't. Now, I don't know why. I don't know what for. Obviously, we know Bradley Bozeman, him and his wife, they were super nice. They were always involved in all this community stuff. So that's that. But and maybe they just wanted to change the scenery. Maybe. It, it, it ain't got to be no beef thing. It ain't got to be no, oh, man, Bradley Bozeman probably hates the Ravens. It ain't got to be nothing like that. It ain't got to be that deep. It could be so many different things besides mess like that. It could be, hey, maybe they thought the market was going to be a lot higher. Maybe they thought like, oh, yeah, Ravens offered a deal. But you know what? Let's test it out first. And, and I was saying that, too. I was saying that throughout the season, throughout this offseason. 
yeah, Ravens offered a deal, but Bradley Bozeman, he needs to test the market because he needs to go get that bread. Go get your money. Because I felt like anything that the Ravens would have offered him, whatever he could get on the open market, it would be much more. Much more. Because the Ravens are not usually one of the teams that would be like, all right, we'll pay you more than them. No, no, you know what? We'll go up on our offer. That's not usually them. This whole Marcus Williams thing. I said, whoa, y'all actually offered more than the Eagles? Like, when do you ever read an article where it's talking about how a team was close and range to what the Ravens offered, but they weren't quite there yet? I was like, what? Okay, Ravens. I like these new Ravens. Hopefully they stick around. But anyway, this is crazy. Like, it's just, it's very shocking. And we know he was not the, the, the best center in the world he was not the greatest center in the nfl we know that and we realize that we understand that we get that yes we do but the market it's not always about who the best is it's just it's timing more than anything but the timing mixed with the market it, it, it shows you that teams just they they weren't really in on bradley bozeman like that they really weren't now, um, this is it's just shocking to me straight up, man, still. Because every time I look at it, I'm like, wow. Because initially, I know a lot of Ravens fans would be like, well, Ravens couldn't match that? Ravens couldn't do that? Ravens couldn't sign them for that? And of course they could. They got more than enough salary cap space to sign him for this. And whatever direction they go at center next, I'm sure it's going to be, unless it's through the draft, but I'm sure it's going to be more than this on the salary cap alone. I'm sure it will. Well, you actually, you know what? The market's kind of dry right now for centers. It's, it's getting a little quiet right now, so I don't know. Maybe Ravens will look at this and be like, you know what? Free agent center, Treader, you know what? We're going to give you half of that. We're going to give you half of that, but we want you to play with the motivation that you're going to go against the Browns two times a year, possibly three. The playoff, we'll see. But you're going to get to go against these Browns two times a year, and they just cut you. You're the president of the NFLPA. How dare they cut you, J.C. Treader? You're one of the best pass-blocking centers in the league. How dare they cut you? Come play for us. Come play for a consistent organization. Come play for a contender. Help us get over the hump. All the meanwhile, you can get back at them at least two times a year and show them that they should have kept you on the roster. I don't care how much money they saved. They should have kept you on the roster, JC. How about it, man? W what do you say? Yeah, we can't offer you as much money as this, that, and a third. And you know what? We're not even going to try to beat around the bush. We're not going to up our offer. But we really do think you will make a great addition to our football team. What's it going to be? You see the market out here. You, you see the time. It's, it's only going to get worse. It's only going to get cheaper. Look at our young guy. He's younger than you. And he was coming up in the market. He became a free agent. And look what the market did. Look what the market said about him. What do you think the market's going to say about you? You just got cut from the Cleveland Browns. What do you think they're going to say about you? Where's your market at right now? How come you still ain't signed a deal? You might as well come through. So I'm sure they, they probably on the phone with JC right now. Talking their talk. Trying to get them to walk their walk. Like literally, Ravens walk. You know, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all that's up there. But anyway. Um, yeah, I, I just think he... Yeah. He... He just must have wanted out. Because Ray, there's, there's no way. Well, there is a way, but there's no way that Ravens offered less than this. And it, even if Bradley Bozeman, if they did one out, that's fine. That's fine. Sometimes um, m money isn't everything. It's not. And that's in life in general. We talk about on here all the time, hey, these players, they, they need to try to go get their bread, which they should. Because, you know, NFL, it stands for not for long. So you got to get it while you can. And you see, because the NFL, they will chew you up and spit you out. Even before you, like, I know all of y'all have seen the clip of uh, Ajabo, him tearing his Achilles or popping his Achilles, whatever happened to his Achilles. Y'all saw the video of his injury. He over there doing the drills, doing the drills, running hard, going full speed, trying to get his draft stock up. Boom, he falls to the ground. Everybody just looking. Yo, no. Some, 
Hey, hey, go! Somebody go get the ball. Go get that football. They ain't care about that dude like that. Well, nobody worried about him like that. Cause he he not on the team. He he he's a draft pick or a potential draft pick. He ain't nobody team. Ain't nobody rushing out to go get him. Nobody rushing out to go go help him or nothing. They will chew you and and he ain't even got in the league yet. They will chew you up and spit you out. So that's why I always talk about how players they need to try to get their bread. But again, uh, money isn't everything. It isn't everything. Uh, and that's just, again, in life in general. So with players, uh, if they do decide, you know what, uh, we're going to go a different route. Um, you know what, I'm not going to make as much money as I would have here when I go there. But I'm looking for a change. I'm looking for something different. I'm looking for a change of scenery. I'm looking for a change of environment. I'm just looking for a fresh start. That's how it is sometimes. It can be like that sometimes in our own personal lives with like stuff, something like work. Sometimes you could have you could have an opportunity sitting right in front of you. And that opportunity could be, oh man, oh, I could make so much money. I could make so much bread. Oh, this, oh, this would be great. Oh, but I'll never see my family. Mm. But I won't have any personal time to myself. Oh. But I'll be working 24-7. Oh. Ooh, the hours are crazy. Oh, man. And those are things that you got to think about. So it's not always worth it. So with Bradley Bozeman, whatever it was, that's fine. Kudos to him. Hope him and his wife, they have a phenomenal time uh, out in it's in North or South Carolina. Whichever one it is. Hope, hopefully they have fun in both Carolinas. Um, and, and they enjoy themselves on their new adventure. So just like the Bozeman's all when it came to being in Baltimore, we out.